Hi guys, how are you doing? So I have been thinking, find a draft. That's the software I usually use when I write and I love Find a Draft. But I've been thinking about all these people that might not have used Find a Draft and they might be curious on how it works. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the basic in Find a Draft. Stay tuned. <music> My name is Maria and I'm one of the creators behind another character. Whew, today it's warm, uh, but I still love screenwriting and this channel is about screenwriting. So if you love screenwriting and storytelling and film and TV shows, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that little notification button so you don't miss any of future videos. Thanks. So let's jump into Final Draft. So what I do is I open up Final Draft and I usually get inside a new screenplay. And uh, so what I do first is that I actually go to file and then save as, and then uh, I will just to show you tutorial fun draft. I will put it on my desktop and then hit save. So I always do that. So I'm sure I have my final draft file saved. And what else you can do is with all these buttons at the top here, and uh, you can go to file and save as PDF. So you would save it as a PDF uh, if you want to like export it and send it to someone. And here you can even include a title page. I'm not gonna do this now because I don't have regular screenplay. Uh, but that's good. Um, what else on this one? Okay, edit. You can replace a character. Like if I had now, I don't have any characters because I haven't written anything. But if I would have a character here, like for example, named Sarah, and I want to name change her name to Eva or something, I can just replace it with, and then I can collect a character over here when I have them. Uh, so yeah, I have hit cancel there. Uh, so that's useful if you want to change something. The view here, you can get to the bitboard, the index cards, uh, but this one you can also access within here. So I don't really, I don't hang out here as much. The format and the f amazing part with the formatting in Final Draft that they have put all the settings, but if you would like to change some stuff, you can, but I will tell you it's better not to do it too much if you don't really know what you're doing because there are certain formatting rules and people expect you to follow them. So if you change too much, you might be breaking those rules. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I mean, your teacher is going to tell you if you're in a screenwriting class, like on what settings and you can use change like the spacing and the leading and stuff like that. But yeah, I usually don't do that much changes here. Um, insert, you can insert script notes, but this one you can also access over here. I'll show you later on the document. And it's if you want to put in header and footer and the title page, but also you can get the title page over here and tools i usually go with the spelling and because i write in swedish sometimes and english so i have to change it up uh, and you can see the spell check and the options now i have it in english but i can change it to swedish uh, and some other languages if i want to and then head over to the production here i don't do that much either the mo mostly thing i do is the scene numbers so this is if you want to have like scene numbers in the heading, like for the scenes. And, and here where they're supposed to be located, like on the left, on the right, I usually have it on, on both, so you can easily see them. And I'll just hit OK here because these settings are good. And so you see the number one here, I don't have anything written here, but let's write something. Uh, whoops, interior, kitchen night and then Sarah 
let's see, she's 37, blah, blah, blah. This is just to show you, so it doesn't have to make any sense. And then if I write for exterior house night, so now you can see the, it's only for the scene number one, but the second scene doesn't get a number. So you could do is go to the production, go to scene numbers, and then you can also hit OK, but you can also remove the numbers, like if something gets messed up or if you want to remove them and then put them back. Uh, but I'm just going to have this one keep existing numbers uh, and hit OK. So now you have the number two here. So you have two scenes. And that's great. But I mean, if you're going to send the screenplay to someone like a producer, I wouldn't have these numbers uh, because I heard you're not supposed to. But I personally like it because I think it's easier. Like if someone has feedback and they can just tell me like scene number 10 um, and they can say something about it about it uh, but so I usually do that for feedback reasons but if I will like send it into a contest or to like someone <laughs> high up like producer maybe I wouldn't have it uh, so yeah but I usually think it's easier for me for myself when I'm working to actually know the number. If you want to learn more about the revision mode, we actually did a video on just the revision mode and you can watch it over here. The window, I don't really use help here if you want to get in touch with Final Draft and see the user guide, sample scripts, get done some feedback and get support. Um, but I don't, I hang out down here more. Um, so what you have is, here's the views, like you want to go to the bit board, which is amazing. Here you can do like a outline, new bit, and then let's just say, I usually use it like this, interior kitchen. So you have like a scene here and then you're like, okay, so here's the story map. So these are actually the pages and I'll put it over here. So you see that it got a little white one over there. That's amazing. And I'll actually zoom in a bit um, because now you can see it better. So it says the page goal number 36 because it's on 36. So my goal is maybe to have the scene on 36. So this one is amazing because you can move this around too if you want to change it where it's supposed to be. It doesn't change in the actual script, but this is like your guide <laughs> for your screenplay. And, and then you have over here, you can get the screenplay like, oh, that's where we were. But if you want to have like the normal view, I don't really be in there that much actually, never actually. The scene view and the amazing thing with this one is you can move them around um let's say you want this scene to be before the other one. You can move it on top. And what happens in the script? See, now they change. But now also the number is wrong. So that's maybe when you want to remove them um, and redo it. Uh, but it's amazing. And then you have the index card over here. And then you can have index card summary if you want to like write something in them to like move it around to. Um, and here's an amazing part. Let's go back. Um, so imagine if you're like using the bitboard and instead of just um, going back and forth over here, you can split the scene so you can if you click here split virtually they will be next to each other so now they are two wins but imagine if you want this one to actually be the beat board and um, you can change it to the beat board there you go oh i'm gonna zoom out a bit so this is amazing because if you want to type down here and then you want to see be able to see the beat board you can um, and you can even split it horizontally. 
so yeah, that's the amazing part. Okay, here you have collaboration. If you want to like invite someone to your screenplay, and then they have to have find draft two. I assume I haven't really tried this one yet, um, but it's supposed to be very helpful. You can then you need to like host. I would maybe invite Michelle, and she could by going to her final draft, she can just use her name and then the ID. So you can actually see the same screenplay at the same time. That's good if you're really collaborating and can't be at the same place. Um, what else? Title page. Um, so if she, here you can just go ahead and change it to hello, written by, and do whatever you want. Uh, you can add a p uh, image, uh, but yeah, cross that out. And here's the general, if you want a character or a parenthetical, dialogue, transition, action, stuff like that. Mm. Here you can also insert an image, and here's the show, show hide, hide story map, then you will not see the map. Hide ruler, then you won't see them either. Uh, but I like the story map to see, have it as a guide. Um, and navigator, and here's if you want to go to the scenes, and you can, if you hit this, this one, this little pin, you can be able to have it there even if you go over here and do some stuff. Because otherwise, it's, it may disappear uh, but yeah and then you have like script note if I um, want to add a script I will just click on the right at least on the Mac and insert script note and then let's say I let's say I read Michelle's screenplay and I have a feedback for her and I just write Sarah seems blah 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 and I can Add a color so you can see this little flag is a color so I have a script note and you can easily access, access them by clicking on it and then you also have the characters but I don't really have a full screenplay and I haven't really used this part that much but you usually get some data here on like how much dialogue and scenes and then the tags, you want to tag something, but I don't really use it. The thing I use most is the script notes because they are so helpful when you get feedback or if you have like an idea and you want to add it. And you can even, if you want to like, okay, I'm done with this feedback. And um, Michelle told me something about Sarah, I'm just gonna change it. Uh, and I want to save the note, but I want to see the flag in the screenplay. I can just click there. So it doesn't show in the script. And let's put it back there. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. The thing I love with Final Draft is that it's so easy to use and you already have all the settings there. So you can pretty much just open it up and keep on writing and you don't have to worry about all the formatting rules. You can do some changes, but overall you can just jump in there and go ahead. And that's amazing. And if you wonder something about Final Draft, don't hesitate to write a comment below. I hope you find this uh, video helpful and that you're excited to jump into Final Draft and start writing. And please consider subscribing. Have a great day. Keep on writing. Stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.